Hi Libra, welcome to your general love reading for the first half of November 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Libra for the first half of November. Right? And it is general, which means it's not going to be everybody's situation. But as always, you can check out one of your other signs. You can book a personal reading or you can check out one of your person's signs. If you want a personal reading, all the information is in the description box. All right, let's see. Libra, what is going on for you? Overall energy, we have, hmm, we have grief. Could be you or it could be them. We'll see. But somebody's not really having a good time right now. So let's see. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <clears throat> Feels like somebody's feeling like they, like there's a, um, a loss. Like there's been a loss. So definitely feels like there's not much um, contentment at the moment in this connection. So let's see. For the situation, okay, we have the lovers crossed by the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, so there is a very deep connection here. And if it wasn't, I mean, if there weren't all these emotions involved, we wouldn't have the grief card, right? You don't get sad if it's not an intense connection that you feel very deeply for. So that energy is here, but it's crossed by the Knight of Pentacles, showing that somebody has not really been able to move um, in a practical way towards this, all right? For you, we have the Hermit, as well as the Five of Cups in reverse. For them, we have the Page of Swords and the Two of Cups in reverse. All right, coming up for you, the Ten of Cups. For them, the Seven of Swords in Reverse, and the potential outcome here, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Libra. So, first of all, we do also have, um, we have Gemini showing up here. We also have Virgo, but of course could be any sign, all right? Um, <clears throat> and the rules can be reversed, in case I didn't mention that. So for you, I feel like you're kind of doing your own thing. You're kind of keeping to yourself, possibly keeping quiet, just kind of focusing on, on you, basically. I feel like you're doing this because you are overcoming or trying to overcome the past with this person, trying to possibly recover from it. I do see that you, you might still be um, having a little bit of grief for this connection. Because it does feel like something um, didn't work out here, especially having the Two of Cups in reverse for, for the other person here. However, I love that we have the Ten of Cups um, in the near future for you, all right? This is love and happiness coming up for you. For them, I feel like this person is still interested. Definitely still interested, all right? I mean, just starting off with the lovers here. Um, the Two of Cups is in reverse though. There's something here that's not really working out from their end or maybe they're trying to push this out of their mind. We'll see when we get there, when we clarify. I feel like this person has definitely been avoiding something and possibly not wanting to avoid that anymore. Kind of like coming back to something that they had snuck away from. That's how it's coming in. And there is change, all right, in the potential outcome here. So let's clarify and see what's going on here. Libra. So let's clarify the situation, the lovers and the knight of pentacles. Oh, we have, wow. Okay, the hierophant, the nine of cups, and the hanged man. This is definitely a very, very, very deep connection. I feel like there are also a lot of lessons involved. Um, in this connection, it feels like it's just something of like a higher, higher level um, soul connection here. And this is definitely a connection where there is a lot of um, pleasure. Like there's been a lot of pleasure. There is a lot of pleasure. And no matter, you know, how um, bad things are, it's like there's still this sense of desire 
for one another between the two of you. However, we have the hanged man. Again, it for some, whatever reason, it's it feels like it's just kind of stuck. Like on a practical level, it's just not moving forward. Let's see the hermit for your energy. The Ace of Swords in Reverse and the Ten of Wands. You're still you're still carrying this with you though. It's like you know you're you're going within. You're keeping your distance. Um, I don't know if you're if it's very literal. It could be you know um, isolating, but like really literally isolating yourself and just not being very social, but that's because you're still carrying this burden of things just not having um, taken form, all right, with that Ace of Swords being in reverse, of there not having been that action moving towards truth, because I feel like deep in your heart, you know, you felt like this was a connection that, that was meant to be, and since that truth is not playing out, you know, you're just kind of being alone at the moment or wanting to be alone. Or even if you don't want to be alone right now, it's like that's how it's manifesting for you though. And it's because you're still carrying a lot of the weight from this connection um, on you. I feel like if for... For some of you, what could be keeping this connection stuck could be some kind of um, some kind of a commitment or like really strong like traditional norms. Keeping somebody away from from pleasure, from what it is that they would truly want. almost like it's forbidden, but I feel like that's for some of you, not, it's not going to be for all of you, or it could just be, you know, something else being in the way here where somebody feels like, you know, that's, this is the right thing for me to do, so this connection with Libra, for example, is, it can only be a fantasy. All right, let's see the Five of Cups in reverse. You have the Eight of Pentacles and the um, Eight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you're really working on yourself when it comes to releasing this. It's still difficult. There, again, there's still grief, I feel, that you are processing. But you are focused on moving away from this. And I feel like, you know, you are being successful at that because we do have the Ten of Cups showing up for you. So let's see what's going on with this other person. Let's see the page of swords. The nine of pentacles in reverse, the world in reverse, and the seven of pentacles in reverse. This person is still interested. I feel like they're still kind of um, either, you know, trying to stay informed when it comes to what is going on with you. It's not over for them. It's definitely not over for them. They're not, they're not feeling independent from you or from this connection at all whatsoever, but they're also not investing in it. At the moment, I feel like they're just kind of keeping their distance as well, um, having taken a step back. But it's not over, and this person is still learning some lessons here as well. Let's see this Two of Cups in reverse. The King of Pentacles in reverse and the Three of Pentacles. It almost feels like for some of them, there might be another situation that they're dealing with here. 
because like I said, we have we have the Hierophant, and now um, we're getting the King of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. To me, this talks um, very strongly about commitment, but I'm not sure that this commitment is towards you because it kind of just doesn't feel like that's the case. If Okay, so for those of you where there is a third party involved, um, this person is no longer committed to that, at least not energetically, not at a deep level. But they're going through the motions here with the Three of Pentacles. Hmm. I feel like there, another message about that might come up. Um, but if it does, I'll come back to it. Let's see the Ten of Cups for what is coming up for you. Ten of Cups. The Seven of Wands, the Two of Wands, and the Three of Wands in Reverse. Things are not going to be exactly as you expect, but you're finding, you're finding love, you're finding fulfillment, you're finding happiness. but in a way where it's it's not at all in what you might have in mind. And so what I feel like the message here is is that you know, make sure you're not you don't block that out just because you don't recognize it. It's like there's going to be some kind of an opportunity that is going to present itself to you. But it's going to be different than what you had in mind for what the Ten of Cups would represent. And so for that reason, you might have this tendency to kind of just, you know, automatically rule it out and not move forward with it. So stay open. Stay open to what might present itself to you here. I'm not sure if it is regarding this person or another person or just some kind of another situation. But it definitely feels like it's not something that, that you would be expecting. So let's see the Seven of Swords for them. Okay, the Ten of Cups in reverse, the Six of Swords in reverse, and the Queen of Swords in reverse. going on with this person something's going on here I really feel like there's another situation here I feel like there's another situation for this person um, that you're dealing with again it doesn't have to be a relationship but I am kind of getting kind of strongly that it is for most of you but it doesn't have to be okay I see this person trying to move away from that Realizing that that's not what's giving them happiness, but they're having a hard time moving away from that. I see them initially coming up in the near future just being um, distancing themselves, possibly being a little bit harsh with that situation, but definitely not happy and definitely wanting to kind of... I see it as moving away from that and kind of like creeping back in or kind of approaching you, but in a way where it's not 100% just yet, okay? However, keep in mind, for the potential outcome here, we do have the Wheel of Fortune, so there is a big transition, a big shift that is um, coming up at some point. Yeah, and we have the Four of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Four of Swords. So this is a lot of stability, a lot of balance, something new, and a lot of healing. So the wheel is turning in that direction. 
So whether that be, I mean, for some of you, yes, this could definitely be um, things working out with this person, but I do see this as being more of the distant future because coming up in the near future, I do still see things being a little bit shaky. And you, um, in the meantime, finding some kind of a fulfillment here that you're not expecting, maybe within your own self, maybe within a situation, maybe with another person, I don't know. But um, definitely something very beautiful coming up though, okay, with this Four of Wands. There's a shift, there's a turn that's happening for you here. And it's moving you towards happiness and healing and just something that is going to feel um, brand new, even if it is with this person, it would be like a reigniting of that connection, but in a very, very different way. So yeah, for the moment, it feels like this person is kind of avoiding um, their true happiness here, whatever that is. Um, but things are changing, all right, at some point there. So Libra, that is what I got for you. I hope this made sense and thank you so much for watching. Much love.